In this video, we will consider two different gravitational fields, and show some mathematical simulations of the two fields. The first field is the constant gravitational field. The surface of our planet Earth has a nearly constant gravitational field. So we are familiar with physical phenomena of this field. The second field is a non-constant gravitational field. It is given by 2 times y meters per second squared. For example, at height 2 meters, the gravitational acceleration is 2 times 2, so it is 4 meters per second squared. When the height is 1 meter, the acceleration is 2 times 1, so it is 2 meters per second squared. Roughly speaking, as we go higher, the gravitational force is getting stronger, and as we get closer to the surface, the force is nearly zero. In this simulation, a ball is thrown at speed of 2 meter per second, at various angles. And we will compare the trajectories in these two different gravitation fields. They will be sketched together in the same coordinate system, and the one in red color is the trajectory in the non-constant field. In this simulation, the ball is thrown at the angle of 21 degrees. When it is close to the surface, the red one enjoys nearly zero gravitational force, so it maintains the 21 degree angle, longer than the blue one, while the blue one quite quickly loses the angle, and head down to the ground quickly. However, as the red one reaches the height of 0.5 meter, it picks up some gravity, and heads down to the ground. For the red one, the gravity is 2 times the height, so at 0.5 meter, the gravity is 1 meter per second squared. The same gravity for the blue one. This can be observed from the curvatures at the peak of both trajectories. For example, if we sample portions of 0.5 meter long, at the peaks of both trajectories, they seem to be similar to each other. The curvature of the trajectory of a freely falling object is generated by the gravitational field, and the relationship between the curvature and the gravity became the central idea of Einstein's general relativity, which is the best theory we have for explanation of the gravity in our universe. In modern physics, this kind of sophisticated geometric analysis is considered essential in understanding physical phenomena. In this simulation, the ball is thrown at the angle of 50 degrees. At the beginning, the red one always wins, as it enjoys low gravity. However, as it reaches the height of 1 meter, the gravity becomes 2 meters per second squared, which is 2 times the gravity of the blue one. Samples of 0.5 meter long at the peaks of two curves, reveals the difference between the curvatures of the trajectories at the peak. Also if we look at the right and tails of these two curves, the difference between the curvatures at the peak is amplified quite well. In this simulation, the ball is thrown at the angle of 70 degrees. The peak of the red one is 1.25 meters, and the gravity at the peak is 2.5 meters per second squared, while that at the blue one is always 1 meter per second squared. For this case, the difference of the curvatures at the peak is quite well exhibited in the picture. Also, compared with the case of the angle of 50 degrees, the red one reaches far lower height than the blue one. After the red one passes through the height of 0.5 meter, the gravity gets significantly larger than that of the blue one, and it is being pulled down more quickly from that point on. The geometry of curves and surfaces are main topics of multivariable calculus and it is an essential part of understanding physical phenomena. If you like mathematics and science, the multivariable calculus is a wonderful subject that will lead you to a greater appreciation of human accomplishments in understanding our physical world.